hey, it's Yvonne. Wait a minute. I backed up. I'm parked up front, but I wanted to back up because when I was driving in, I was like, oh, look at that. See the peak? All snow-capped behind the Goodwill sign. I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. Anyways, let's go inside, see what we can find to flip for a profit or maybe just something fun to save some money. Oh my gosh, something else just happened as I was walking through the parking lot to finally come in. Somebody, I guess, started their car remotely. And, like, that, that freaked me out so bad. Like, it was just running and the lights were flashing. But there was nobody. I looked around. There was nobody coming out of the stores. So that was a pretty powerful remote. Huh. Okay, that was a new one. Starting with hard goods. Hey, now. Is that one of those target birds? I'm not sure. Because there's some copycats. Let me check on that. It does have the felted feet. Okay, let me check on that. I've never... I haven't bought and sold in... <laughs> he just got called to the office. I haven't bought and sold any of those yet. So I'm not sure. I'm just kind of vaguely familiar that that trend was going on. It's a cute little target looking thing. Hey, there's another one of these. Y'all liked that last time. How much is it? $4.99, yeah. I'll get you guys another one. And it comes with a free school picture. Okay. <laughs> we'll do it. It's not going to be Ray done, yeah. Wasabi and ginger, that's for sushi. I love both. Wasabi and ginger with my sushi. It's not a precious moments thing. 2000 something. Some of those, I don't know which ones, I'm just saying, some of them do have a little bit of resale value. It's just something that was overproduced. So they kind of played themselves out by making too much flooding the market lowers the value. Wait a minute, does that say KitchenAid? It does say KitchenAid. $6.99. Too many scuffs though. KitchenAid stuff is a little more expensive. I would get that if it was in a little bit better shape. Looked at this last time. Wasn't that interested? That's a newer one, but it's pretty with the little frit on it, huh? Little sugar frit always gets me. Makes me think of vintage, cool vintage stuff, so. $2.99. I think I'll pass on that one. I see a lot of that here because I'm near the southwest of the country, so. There's a whole store. Oh my gosh. I should take take you guys to that for those of you that don't see that Talavera and Tonella or Tonala very much in your part of the United States. Because there's a whole giant store that sells nothing but the Mexican imported art. It's humongous. I found these hidden underneath that shelf. And I put them out here to get a better look. They're just resin and they're hollow, so they're not too heavy. I'm struggling with the new price structures. $14.99. It is pretty cool though, and it's large. And then this one is $12.99. They might be, possibly, I'm not sure, for an aquarium. I don't know if that's the right safe uh, material and paint or this could be for like a garden or whatever but okay $14.99 and $12.99 I gotta think about that I'm just not sure how much room is left because you know I'm not trying to sell things for crazy prices at the at my booths because I want to give good deals oh my gosh look what Heather did <laughs> It's so close to me wanting to get it. It's just not quite right. But that was very close. Let me make sure this isn't a pierce or something. 
999. It's a nice, clear, quality glass. I think I see a signature. It's hard to tell. Or is that a scratch? Hang on, you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, it was just, you know, surface scratching. This is a better quality piece of glass for sure. It's all beveled, no raw edges. There is a seam. Better pasta. Moon pie. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be new though. It's still cute. Made in the USA. It's still cute. I might get that. I don't know anything about Funko Pop. Every once in a while, if I'm in the mood, I'll pause and I'll like look it up and see. But that's a whole nother learning curve for the collectors. I got enough in my wheelhouse. Oh, I like this Pegasus. Too bad its tail is broken off. It's pretty. Yeah. I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm sticking with vintage <laughs> acrylic lucite. This new resin stuff is just not, it's just not. There are some very expensive high-end resin mixes that you can get and make stuff, but that, your average resin pieces, is, they're just, they're just too cloudy and don't look very quality. So they're usually a pass for me. That was your last time seeing this rain dog, but it's not a Ray Dunn. Not that it matters, because most Ray Dunn, unless it's the really older stuff, some of the dimply stuff and the older stuff, it's not worth that much. Well, look at this little cracked glass piece. This is more of a someone learning a hobbyist piece, 2014. A little bit of slab work. Something about it is endearing though. I might get that. I like my metal work. Let's see who made this. Oh, that's a Sasha B. It's grapes. Be cool if it was a horse or something, but that is a Sasha B, so that's got some redeeming qualities. $3.99 and wait a minute. I love these too. I'm not crazy about this one. $2.99 though. Well, it's not the coolest one I've ever had. No, because I would only sell this for like about $10. It's just not the coolest one. I've got ones that are prettier. So I'm going to do a customer, a potential customer a favor and buy one of my prettier ones if you want, if you're wanting one. Louisa Graf, that's for my husband. Got my wedding ring and my engagement ring and our first Christmas together he took me there and said spend two thousand dollars buy yourself something yeah he did he did that I was like wait what okay that's never happened before okay here are some verdicts so this little dude sells for average of 12 to 15 salt and pepper shaker set but I can't pay Five. Well, I mean, I can. I don't want to pay $5 for that kind of ROI. You guys, for those of you that did kind of feel affectionate toward this one like I did, I just noticed a pedal was missing, so I have to put it back. This is indeed Target Bird. They're listed anywhere from uh, $35 to $88. I don't know why, but the cheapest one I saw was $38 currently. So for $2.99, I finally get to mark that off my reseller bucket list that I have bought and sold the infamous <laughs> target bird okay and that's for you guys I just like this I'm just gonna put it in my booth it's probably I'll probably put like 12 to 15 dollars on it oh I forgot to check this I don't and that does not glow I was on the fence about it I'm like that is not the color of green that glows okay I mean, I still like it, but that's cute with the seahorse. I think I did look at that last time. Matchbox Wacky Packs. $1.59. Collect them all. Somebody has already opened some of them to see what's inside. Matchbox Wacky Packs. Let me see the date. 
2023. These are brand spanking new. But let me educate myself to see if there's like a hidden, like one that's like holy grail hidden one. All right, they're selling for an average of five to eight dollars, and I didn't see any sold or anything that was like, you know, a more scarce item inside that was like a holy grail, like hide and seek, find me. And I think I'll get this. This is the Jim Shore, and it's called Bluebird of Happiness. <laughs> so, only three ninety nine, twenty two to thirty eight. It's three ninety nine. Yeah, I'll get that. I'll probably just bring that to a sale for one of y'all that likes Jim Shore. Okay. The health and beauty aid section is always fun for me. Um, I'm gonna get these. These are Sawfly Military Eyewear System. Average selling price is uh, about $25, $30. Yeah, $199. $199. I'll see if they'll let me have that one for $199 as well. So I'm going to get those and just put them over on eBay. Uh, someone saw this. I sold the crocheted one that had this kit on it I told you guys I saw a kit a vintage kit and so it's still here now it's half price I don't remember who wanted it but I'm third in the cart someone wanted it and they had and in here they had a bunch of brand new still sealed magnetic eyelashes <laughs> because although I am a licensed and certified esthetician and makeup artist <laughs> I cannot do fake eyelashes. It is just ridiculous. I can do them on other people, but I can't do them on myself. But these are magnetic, so I'm pretty happy about that. Those are still sealed, but I don't do thongs. Sorry if that's TMI. That's a young girl thing. That's a millennial thing. <laughs> that made that made thongs popular. It's crazy. Ten ninety nine for a broken promotional items. Smiley people. There's three bags of them. Guess what some of you guys are getting? Smiley man squeezies in your thank you bags. Also, Lorray, I'm gonna get this. I like that very dark red. Look at this. Lamb's pride. 85% wool, 15% mohair. This looks like spun and dyed by Brown Sheep Company, Mitchell, Nebraska. $1.99 a skein, if I'm saying it right. Net weight, four ounce. Okay, I don't know what any of that means, Larray. I'm going to get this, regardless, because that just seems like a good deal. And I like that color. Yeah, that's good quality, right? I'm going to get that for my hat, but I'll talk to you about it. And if you don't like working with this kind of yarn, then I'll just do something else with it. Yeah, this stuff is about, resale value is about 12 to $15. I'm getting it. I'm never in a hurry to buy Ray Dunn. Only cool pieces. Still nice and new, probably. Sometimes people just didn't bother to take the label off. Certainly not overused. Uh, only three ninety nine, and only because, well, the obvious. Mary Katniss. It's obvious, right? Uh, honorable mention here. The World of Peter Rabbit. Still new. Those are peel off stickers. Uh, they're five ninety nine a piece, though. Now there's six of them, and your average resale, I'd say, for six of them is going to be somewhere around fifty. Quite a bit of shipping if you choose to do eBay. Oh, quite a bit of shipping cost for the buyer. Those are going to be heavy. So at $6 a piece, really can't do that. Um, wouldn't even be interested in my booth, actually, at $6 a piece. But let's do the Ray Dunn, and let's do this little vintage thing. $3.99 is a good price. What is that? Daisy and Buttons, I think. Nice fluted edge. Uh, mug for my mom, Germany, $1.29, nice handle, 
kind of a Banksy style look to it. I'm gonna get that for my mom. And this kind of stuff is trending because of the non-binary stuff. She, her, I kind of like it. I'm just gonna stick it in the booth. Mugs are good in my booth. They do just fine. Ah, look at the size of this serving tray. My lord. Okay, and this, by the way, this looks, that looks very commercially made. I'm pretty sure it is, but we'll check. Yeah, there it is, made in China. No signature made in China. Look at the size of that. <laughs> Seriously. Look, there's my hand. Look at this. Some lots of clear crystal stuff, serving dishes, some vintage, some not. That one's not bad, little retro piece there pressed glass trying to be American Brilliant. It's got a little bit of lead crystal in it. Yeah, just a prettier kind of glass, but it's still pressed glass. Probably like what, Mikasa or something like that. Okay, moving along. Well, I'm in line now. I didn't add anything besides for a dollar, this little fake the willow thing. Oh, and a pair of um, American Eagle jeans for myself. We're starting to get a little busy here on Sunday, so I hope you have a little bit of fun with me, and I will talk to you later. Bye for now.